On Monday, as part of the last phases of the Artemis I mission, NASA's Orion spacecraft flew past the moon once again, affording the breathtaking views of Earth and our planetary neighbor. Orion made its last close encounter to the moon, flying past the moon's far side at a speed of around 4,800 miles per hour. The spacecraft's cameras recorded the Earth as it rose above the horizon and looped around the moon after Orion had completed its last flyby. Ever since its November 16th launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center, the spacecraft's array of cameras have been transmitting live footage of the moon and Earth back to Earth. At 11.43 a.m. EST, the orbital maneuver engine fired for 3 minutes and 27 seconds, successfully completing the return-powered flyby, or RPF run, and setting Orion on course for a splashdown in the Pacific Ocean on December 11th. According to NASA officials, the Orion spacecraft sailed over the Apollo landing sites during its last lunar flyby, which brought the spacecraft to within around 80 miles of the moon's surface. While Orion was on the far side of the moon for 30 minutes before the flyby, NASA lost contact with it. The view of the lunar craters and features, as well as the planet Earth, that Orion saw after the link was re-established with the Deep Space Network, was stunning. This perspective will be accessible once again when NASA astronauts do the same orbit around the moon during the Artemis II mission. In order to go back to Earth, Orion has to go through a sequence of engine burns. A 45-second departure burn from a distant retrograde orbit, or DRO, occurred last week, marking the beginning of the spacecraft's journey home. The spacecraft's sensors snapped the last close-up images of the Moon as it started its departure from the lunar surface. On the morning of December 11th, around 11 a.m., Orion will splash down in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of San Diego, California where rescue crews from the United States Navy will be standing by. For NASA's Orion capsule recovery, favorable weather conditions include calm seas, light winds, and no precipitation. Even though there won't be any people aboard Artemis I, the mission will serve as a dress rehearsal for Artemis II, when NASA hopes to send two astronauts on a circumlunar voyage aboard Orion. The next step is Artemis III, the first lunar landing by humans in half a century. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.